Welcome to App See App Do. Let's do a quick demo of this app, lifestyle app called Day One. It's a diary, a uh, digital diary that can sync up with your Dropbox or iCloud. It's available for $1.99. It's a very nice version or a better version of uh, Google Calendar, you can say if you want to compare. We're going to try it out with our iPhone 4. And let's turn it on. I had a password set up to it, so type in the password and I'm in. These are the list of entries that I created. So let's go to menu and show you how it looks. Simply click on that big plus sign to add an entry. Uh, let's just say uh, beautiful uh, bird or something. I don't know. Anything. Um, and you can say it's uh, Long Beach. Anything at all. All right. So you click. Uh, you could click on the calendar uh, to set the date and time. Um, and you could hit this star right here. So it's going to be under your uh, starred list. Uh, or you could add another. Hit the plus sign to add again. This is for full screen. Click done. You have our January 24th entry. We're going to edit this. Let's uh, put it to a future date, maybe of uh, the 26th. Click OK. Menu. All entries. So you could scroll, scroll through your entries uh, and uh, and here's the main menu again. So you could say uh, entries by year. I will give you nicely uh, how many entries you have per year. So this is another cool feature. You could look at your history right away. Starred, the entries that you mark starred are here. Uh, let's go to settings. So here's the sync uh, setup for Dropbox. Um, just like uh, the iCloud is off, you could just press it on, uh, you know, toggle it on, and then um, uh, you could use iCloud for Dropbox. Do the same thing and enter your credentials. It will create a folder called journal.day1 on Dropbox, and uh, these are the sync options launch or manual sync password you could have it on or off I had it on and that's very smart of them maybe that um, you know that alone is probably worth a dollar because apps these days most of them don't have a password or you know, password protection um, reminders two reminders let's say let's set a reminder for the next minute daily uh, font size here you could change the uh, t change the size of your post so I'll change it to 30 markdown I don't know what this is auto bold first line sound effects on uh, on startup if you want to go to the start list you could go to the start list and done let's try it out so that one, I don't know what that one is for still. Should be in the store list. Okay. That setting did not work. Uh, just say on startup, go to. Is the text for the bottom of the on startup setting? It displays hmm. on startup. Open store list. And I close. I click this. Doesn't go to start. Maybe if I permanently close the or kill the app, then it'll work. But uh, um, right now it didn't work. So let's see our Dropbox folder, my laptop. Let's move this. Basically, that's my Dropbox folder, and that's the subfolder it created called. Journal day one, and these are the entries. So if I click on the entries, so there are how many? Six entries. Um, if I click on that, and I had it set to open with Word. So here, this is the string. Okay, beautiful. I could read that with a uh, notepad or text pad. Again, to 
that was very windy. So, um, overall, I really like the sync feature uh, that you could back up everything, and um, the, especially the Dropbox feature. Uh, and you could also send manual uh, entries manually, like you know, you could email them. And right here with this button, right here, arrow. Entry, plain text. So, or tweet, or whatever you want to do. I wish you could have uh, maybe put a picture here. That would be, you know, really better. Yeah, maybe in the future editions they will have pictures because if you have an entry and you see um, a, a picture of a bird or something, you'd like to tie that entry with that picture or a video. But that will uh, increase, of course, the backup on Dropbox or iCloud storage. So maybe that's why they didn't uh, have those features. But those are a very attractive feature to be have in the future releases or upgrades. Thanks for watching.